Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Order. Um, okay, yeah. you might be wondering what we're doing out in, uh, Vardaland right now. Or, yeah, Vardaland. Uh, the reason why we're all the way out here is that, uh, we're back to hunting down the last three artifacts that we need. One of them, the Artifact of the Massive, is here. Well, sort of. It, it's kind of here, it's kind of not, it's hard to say. Okay, yep, uh-oh. Alright, well, we're falling in together. Uh, it is an underwater cave, if I'm not mistaken, and the ex Oh, yeah, we just loaded in something. <laughs> That's how you know you're near a cave when the game suddenly ceases to exist. <laughs> like, the game just has a moment there. Yeah, here we go. Right here. This artifact uh, uh, is the artifact of the massive, so it's going to be an interesting one to get. I have not done this cave yet. Actually, worth noting, I've never done any of the other caves that we've done so far on camera, so. I mean, I've done, okay. Let me rephrase that, because yes, we have done them on camera. I've never done them, like, apart from doing them on camera. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Absolutely Freaking fantastic, uh, delivery on that one. Oh, what in... What is this? Man, even Grim don't know what to do with this one. Does this mean I can take off my scuba? Here, we're gonna take it off for right now. Whoa! Whoa! What the? Whoa! Okay, we're in this big ass cavern here. Uh, okay, do I need to go up? Looks like I need to go up. Alright. Always bring spare armor. Uh, yeah, this is what we're doing this episode. Um, we're just sort of... Uh, I wanted to take care of this artifact since I'm in the, on the right island for it. I did RTB between episodes, though, and just came back here. Uh, hoping to find some more of the... More Cryolophosaurus, but I did not find any more. Uh, so I said, screw it. I'll check to see which artifact is nearest to me, and that's what we'll do. And this is the one, um... Okay, well, we're... Here, let's, uh, let's put on night vision just so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we got spoders in here, and we're in yet another dwarven ruin that somehow sank beneath the ocean. Damn, how the dwarves get so screwed over on this map? Seriously. <laughs> and where are the elves at? Okay, yeah, this is definitely different from the, it, it's dwarf, uh, it's the dwarven, same dwarven runes we've been running into before, but this is a different one, so. Yeah, if you, uh, by the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Figured I'd get that out of the way. You're kidding me. Okay, no, I thought that was it right there, and I'm like, what? Get out of town. That is a green, yes, yellow. Wow. I guess it could be worse. But yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay, I like the aesthetic now that we can see something. Oh, we got a red drop over there. Check for danger first. You know, danger besides the lava and boiling hot death. <laughs> Packy. Oh! As it happens, I've been needing to tame one of those. And get right, get out of here. I really need to make an industrial grinder or something just so I can, like, uh, get rid of things and gain more resource value out of them. Man, oh, man. Look at this place. Oh, you missed. You missed. Oh, we got a Megalania. I'm not in the business of taming more right now, but... What, wait, what? 
I didn't know they spawned in caves on this map. Normally, uh, normally Megalania does spawn in caves. Ow. Okay. Um, and the fact that it's here makes this a much more dangerous cave by default because, uh, yeah, these, they, they will sit on walls and wait for you. I actually want to check to see if it's an aberrant. It is not. Uh, I believe the aberrant variant of Megalania does spawn on this map somewhere. I just don't know where that is. We got something back. Oh, do I have to walk in there? Uh, please, no. No, no. Insert Consuela from Family Guy. Just, yeah, no, we're not doing that one. <laughs> there we go, we got a ruin. But yeah, uh, once, uh... It's time to get out of this cave. I'll, I'll give the coordinates. Actually, you know what? I'll just give them right now, just so you can uh, mark them. Here, we're going to kill this guy. That is not the same Megalain. Ow. I was scared there, and I'm like, oh, that's not the same Megalania. That's a level 90. Where's the other one at? Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, our coordinates are, let them check Dr. Google, uh, 71.7 and 1.1. Uh, that would be 71.7 latitude, 1.10 longitude. Okay? So that's where you'll find the cave entrance. But again, you must be underwater to get it, to get to it. So pack your water tame and, uh, and bring some scuba gear. You won't need it for long, but you will need it. I like how this bead of light just exists, but it doesn't amount to anything. Like, I can't fly out of the cave that way. Uh, alright, what's over here? Have we been here? Yes, we have, because there's a dead... Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. Oh, what the... Oh, that scared the absolute crap out of me. Ah, there's more. There are more. There are more. There are more. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna try and kite these guys and then get the Antrosarchus or something. This is... Uh-uh. We're not doing that one. I mean, if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna do it over here where I can get grabbed and not get, like, insta-killed. I didn't know those spawned. Okay, we got him. Oh, I didn't know they spawned down here. Oh, 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 that's a lot. That's, oh, those, that plus Megalania. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Suddenly, I don't feel as prepared as when I came in. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that what I think it is? Well, I'll be damned. So, if you need green gems, hit up this cave. It's got them. It's got plenty of them. As it happens, I could use some green gems, so I will gladly take that up, take that offer up. But yeah, back to the matter at hand. Um, yeah, so this is what I wanted to do. This is what I said we'd be doing, uh, is finishing off the last of the artifact hunts in the next couple of episodes. Um, so maybe we'll be able to have time to do all three, maybe not. What the hell? Whoa! Man, that, that Uranio almost, I almost just let it live because it was, uh, it was just surviving. It was just not being hit. <laughs> Too OP. Okay. This is where things get really scary because I see this right here and I have to walk in here. So. I'm going to try and take some of this stuff. Now, I could also use my own Megalania. That would probably help, but... And so would a flashlight, but, you know, we don't always get what we want. Okay, you can't harvest those mushrooms. Oh, is this what I think it is? Hold on. I 
I played enough Skyrim to know... Oh. Oh my god. Okay, well, that happened. Okay, this is where I throw out. It's time for your girl to make a return. Where is she? Uh, pretty sure I still have her in my inventory somewhere. Uh, where are you? Hold up. There she- Oop. Oh, this is just daunt- oh, oh. Okay, we got more traps over there. Hmm. Okay, well, there's two different paths to go. Okay. Maybe maybe Grassy's Knoll was not the best idea, but that's all right. There is another solution. <laughs> yep, time to break out the secretary. This is also you know, it's easy to forget that Megalania, with the Kraken's Better Dinos mod, is upgraded, but still has all the base abilities that it normally would have had. And I can afford to take, an, take some extra damage. Okay. That's the way we came. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, what is this? Wait, that's damaging me? Get out of town. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's a puzzle here. All right. Hmm. I didn't know that was hurting me. That changes things. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the wall crawl ability. I'm I'm going to play I'm going to play unfair a little bit on that. <laughs> that's that's that does a lot of damage. Press button. Okay. Uh You know. <laughs> oh sh Oh dear. Um Yeah, I just noticed the time. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hop off for a bit, but uh yeah, when we come back, we will finish up this uh really interesting dungeon actually. I wasn't expecting this. Uh this is supposed to be the artifact of the massive, but this seems like the labyrinth cave. I figured this was the artifact of uh the um it was either clever or cunning, but I actually think I have both of those. Okay. Yeah, no, um, I will, I will be back in a bit. And, uh, hopefully we can get this done then. Wow, this is actually turning into a much more interesting episode than I thought it was. I've been looking forward to doing this cave if it is what I think it is. Alright guys, I will catch you in a bit. Hello, and welcome back to, uh, the episode here. Um... Exactly. Oh, not again. Yeah, come on, knock it off with that. Uh, okay. So I've been looking at this and... <clears throat> well, for starters... Oh, am I not able to do that? 
Oh, that's nonsense. All right, okay. Well, can I jump over it with some... <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I jump over it or something? Whoa, a little bit, uh, a little laggy there. Okay, so looking at this number here, there appears to be a, an order of operations, a way you're supposed to do this. Um, ah, you missed, jackass. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Uh... Okay, so, uh, that... That was a sound? Okay, we got what appears to be two traps right there. Oh! Almost stepped in another one. Um, we got some spikes right there. Okay, this right here is number three. So, I'm gonna write these down. Oop. Wonder if it might caught that. I just smacked it with the side of my, uh, head with my headphones there. Oop. Okay, I'm gonna write these down next to their numbers and see if I can't figure it, figure out the mystery here. I swear if there are Draugr in here, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, we got a yellow jewel here. Two. I'm wondering if this is the order that you're supposed to push these in. I would expect so. I'm actually really enjoying this, like, sort of a more of a puzzle dungeon than just... Go in, fight all the creatures, you know, you'll you'll find your way and all that. Like, I'm... Ugh. Like, I am deeply enjoying the actual mystery solving that's going into this. Okay, I don't think I'm going the right way here, though. Yeah, I'm going back up. This is not where I want to be. I just don't think so. Yeah, no, this goes... That goes back out into the main cavern... Nope. Yeah, it's these little these little yellow square or square what little yellow circles. Th those are traps. Like those are little booby trap things. Like I almost tripped one right there. Okay, and this is number one. All right. Yeah, I see that right there. Pressure. What the? What? Oh, there's a second one right there. Okay. I should remember there's always two. That one right there, that is cheap. That is absolutely cheap. Look at that. It's covered all the, all the rocks. In that case, it should just be perpetually activated, which means they should have run out of arrows, but, you know, of course that will never happen, right? Okay, we've got purple is three over there. I already have that one written down. Ugh. Okay, that's another pressure plate type to worry about. Ugh, I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Logic suggests, well, it's pretty easy at this point to figure this out, but uh, we're going to throw out my Megalania just in case. Okay, we got one. Number two is yellow. Three is purple. And four is blue.
Get on my level. Let's go. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. That was loud and scary. No, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get out of here. Okay, we got two traps there. I'm gonna start attacking these, uh, these, uh, these graves right here. Like, I don't trust this at all. Here, I'm gonna put her away so we can successfully navigate this. But yeah, this is an interesting and definitely a different type of dungeon than what you'd normally run into in this game. And this one's designed so that you hit either one of the... That's gonna get me every time, and that's the wrong gun. Okay, we got a spike wall here. Okay, I feel like Indiana Jones or Lara Croft or something. This is awesome. But it's like, I'm also at a loss for where to go. One thing that is good, useful about that is that it tells you where you've been. Okay, we got a hole in the ground here. Uh, I do not know if we can cross this. That is a spiky... Yeah, that is death. Okay. Not insta-death, but still death. So let's go back, and then we'll come back and try and figure that out. We got something up here. We got a pressure plate and two traps. Okay, what's the significance of this spot? Number three? What? Oh, we have this again. We have this puzzle again. Okay, I better write these down. Yellow three, okay, and you had to uncover which gem it was. That's an interesting style puzzle to that. Okay, so you actually have to, you're actually encouraged to break the rocks to see what's going on. Because you might not see the jewel or the, or the headpiece. Okay, so we've got that spike ball up ahead. I'm gonna have to try and jump that. I might actually die here. That would kind of suck, but... Cause that that is the same stuff that almost killed um that almost killed Gracius Knoll, but there is a path right here. Yeah, okay. Oh Nice. Almost that one got me. That was good. That was a well placed trap. Okay, you gotta break all this stuff and just make sure there's nothing here under it. Oh got some pressure plates there. Ugh. God, this is such a spooky and atmospheric place. I love it. Honestly, you know, you kind of went in expecting more of a boring episode here. And, you know, boring for me, because I'm not a huge fan of caves. Like, they're fine. But, like, it's a very simple, basic style of puzzle, right? Two to purple. Unless that connects to something else, but I don't think it does. And we got another hole up here. Does not look like there is any place to go. Okay, I can jump it, though. Yeah, purple. Let's just make sure there's no number other, uh, here associated with it. Huh. 
Yeah, purple is two. And it seems like you have to get these in the correct sequence in order to open the door, and I say seems like, but it confirmed is how you do it. Otherwise, man. God, this is one of those dungeons where you could just end up lost forever in here. At least in real life you could. Uh, but I'm not quite sure where I'm even supposed to go. You could get totally turned around in a place like this. Okay, we got two sets of arrow traps here. I don't think I've been this way before. Oh my god, this... Makes me... Almost got me. And we've got green is one. Which means that blue is four, so. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. I see you. I'll fall for that. Oh. I saw that, but I fell for the second one. What the hell is over here? Like, why come over here? Oh. Oh, this is just... Man... makes me feel bad for the poor bastard who designed this tomb because they like I can't even imagine what it'd be like to get stuck down here like you help build this place and then you're trapped in it um oh okay okay just gonna break this I really want to see what this stuff is okay we're gonna throw out some of the stone that I've got Oh, God, this is, this is different, and different is good in this case. Like, they're using the mechanics and abilities of the game to their greatest effect in this way. I'm going to go back uh, this way just in case there's something worth doing over here. Spoiler, there is not. Oh, almost got me with that. Okay, we got two ways to go here. We're gonna go the path of least resistance first. Okay, and here's our buttons. However, you know, before we just start pressing things, let's make sure that we have the right spot. Oh, I hear it. We're close. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Um, oh. Yeah, we're not going to press the buttons yet. I want to go explore and see what's here. Because it'd be interesting if there was a drop somewhere in here, too. I'm surprised there's not. Like, I'd really think you'd put a few more, um... Oh. Oh, you cheeky. I love the... Yep. Yeah. And confer confirm blue is four. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's make sure we do this right. Uh, green is number one. Green one, purple two. Green one, press. Uh, that's blue. Uh, purple, two. Yellow, three. Blue, four. Perfect. And that right there is our door. God, that's so cool. And there's our artifact right there. Ugh. God, this place is just incredible. And the level of detail that both Wildcard and the modder put into making this. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, 
Okay, how in the hell? Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> but yeah, this right here is officially my favorite cave. You know, aside from the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm stuck in it now. Um, unless there's something else to do here. Oh, here we go. Here's a button. Button not near the torch that would illuminate it and make it easy to find. No, we can't do that. Um, alright. Okay, and where did this put me? Are there actually two artifacts in here? Must you be so loud? M m is that necessary? Come on. Okay, here's our hole number one, I think. Yeah, this is hole number one. Okay. Um, I kind of want to... Ow! That hurts. That hurts so much. But yeah, no, we're, we're done. Good one. That was a great cave run, honestly. Like, it found a way to do... To take the normal idea and spin it on its head. But... And did so in a way that was very clever. But now we got another problem here. We gotta push this button here. Okay, we're opening this door now. Okay, this is the one we used to... Okay, interesting. So you can't use the same route to get... Hmm. Shut up. No. Oh. Ugh. Alrighty, we that that'll do it. That's the artifact of the massive. But uh, yeah, let's get out of this cave. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is this hopscotch? Yes, it is. And I've been shot. <laughs> Man, that it, it it takes the uh, the game's normal mechanics and changes them into something much more interesting. And that to me is a great way to do it and I really hope that that's inspiration they take in Arc 2 when they do dungeons, if they do dungeons and caves like this because that's absolutely fan Oh, there is a drop down there. I need to go get that. Nice. We got more stuff to do in here. But yeah, like, like, I find it really fun that we got to go through that. We got to solve the puzzle. Now, I am confused as to why, on a Viking map, the numbers are written in English. You could have used, um, the, um, Norse runes in, in later years were used to write, uh, were used to make numbers as well. So, at least if I b remember correctly. Uh, I know, I do not know any ancient Norse, but, um... You know, I did a tiny bit of, uh, you know, did a little bit of history into it, so. It's just important to remember that. So they could have done that and added a little bit more, a little extra to the puzzle, so you actually have to go and look up what these runes mean. But that might have been a little too much, uh, for this game. And also, we got, we got a bat over there. We got another Desmodus there. We got two at least. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, boy, that... Okay, I think to solve that problem, we're gonna have to whip out the, uh... Oh, hi, sir. Sorry, I need to... You need to be dead. That, that just needs to happen. I think I've harvested this drop already, but still. Blueprint, Calcatherium Saddle. Excellent. Alright, and let's get the other one, which is... In the, in the lava down there. You know, in the magma. Is that magma or lava? I know it's lava once it's um, above the earth. But we're technically underground, so. I, uh, what? 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 Huh? Stop latching. What are you latching to? Thank you. Oh! Ha ha ha! Ah, there's your prize in a Sentinel Fiomia saddle. 
Oh, man. The loot in this game sometimes. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I guess we do get to use uh, the grassiest of knolls for a, for a moment here. Because I'm going to need to deal with these bats, and I do not want them grabbing me. They didn't grab me before, but uh, I ain't trusting that. I'm... I... Y y these... The domesticated Desmodus, they're all right. The wild ones, mm-mm. Don't tr I do not trust that way. Don't trust like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. While my, uh, texture... While the full mesh and textures of my Andrew Zarkus load in. Come at me. What the hell? 290? Okay, yeah, none of these are Abert Megalania, so we kill them. Okay, thankfully the Megalania is not aggroing onto me right now, so that makes this a lot easier. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Only level 20. Die. You may die. Look at that two damage that you do. You know what? I did a mis I made a mistake. What I really should have done is should have, should have crafted the Andrew Sarkis blueprint uh, that I got. That would have been awesome to do that, but I didn't think about it. I really need to tame a dung beetle for when I do my farm. Sadly, I do not have any worthwhile shit to feed it, so... Yeah, man. Favorite, new favorite cave, honestly. Um, but yeah, let, oh, okay, let me kill these guys first, then I'll talk more. Oh my god, what is going on here? What the hell level was that Titanoboa? Okay, this is where we gotta get back into the water to get out of here. Good grief. Take that, take that, take that, and uh, alrighty, we take that and everything else can just uh, not exist. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, what do you, what do you guys, what, let me, if you, if you have a favorite cave, let me know in the comments, comment section what it is and why. Because um, right now, my favorite is that one right there that we just did. The Artifact of the Massive Labyrinth. Because it uses, as I said, it uses the game mechanics in a really neat way that I don't think any other cave does. It's like, none of them really do that. Uh, it's just go in, kill creatures. You know, you have to solve some puzzles, but those puzzles are about, like, requiring the right uh, things in your inventory and all that. Let, um, not as much to do with, you know, all the other stuff. Okay, uh, alright, we're gonna... Alright, well, I'm gonna fall in like an idiot, so we're just gonna do this. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, maybe I should have put this guy away and we should have flown down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fly down on Cammy. But yeah, I, I love the way I love the puzzle solving, utilizing the game's mechanics and all the extra traps and stuff. And it's like, you know, it makes you feel like you're. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, definitely wanted to get back on Cami for this. Yeah, and all this for an underwater cave. 
Alrighty, let's get the hell out of here, and then I think we can call it an episode. Not really, I don't really think we're gonna have time to do another one, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I honestly don't think we need to do another one. Oops, hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, next episode we're going to go after at least one more artifact. If we can get both of the two remaining ones, that'll be all the better, you know? God. And it's nighttime, but I love the look of this, like, underwater area. Get some oil nodes down there. I really do want to get back into the water and tame some creatures, but I'm probably going to wait on that because that's just... You know, that's part of the problem, isn't it? You just... There's not a whole lot to do down here. Not I don't really have a base near the air near the water much anymore, so. Oh. You like being stunned, boy? Oh, is that a donkey right there? No, that is a that is a shark. It's actually just as well I needed to collect some fish meat, so. <laughs> I also needed to collect their teeth. But I can't see it. I can't see a bloody thing. I'm just gonna ascend to the surface and deal with these guys when I'm in the when I'm not in the water. Come on. Getting there. Getting there. Very slowly. I'm really way down. I should probably drop some of this extra crap. Yeah, we're gonna drop all this salt. I don't know. I do not need the tears of so many gamers in my inventory. Oh. Oh, did we just... No, we did not. Okay, I think it was just deloading the cave or something. Ah. Uh, we have made it to the surface. Alright, I'm gonna take this off before we use any more durability on it. Really? It's not picking up their teeth? That sucks. So I gotta manually go get them. Come here. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? Uh-uh. Get to just bite me and bite me in the ass and then swim away. Get out of here. Okay, now I need to find a place to go to get back on shore, and then I think we're gonna call this an episode. Yeah, Grim putting in the work. A lot of creatures today putting in the work. I'm happy. I'm very happy with the way that turned out. It was great. And if you if you if you're happy with it, hit hit that like button and subscribe for more. Man. All right, right as morning comes. How that's almost thematic, really. Alrighty, there we go. Um, we have jellyfish there breaching the water and not dying for some reason. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, that that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya!